Hey everybody, Thomas Vanderkin from the Vanderkinverse, back again with my final impressions of the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 3. Okay, so I've had a few weeks with the ThinkPad P1 uh, Gen 3. I've been using the ThinkPad P1 Gen 1 for quite a few years, so it was really great to be able to compare and contrast the two. Uh, this one, uh, it's got some really cool features. It's got this nice uh, weave top. If you can see, it's supposed to reduce fingerprints quite a bit. Uh, I'm really delighted that it kept the SD card reader with all the filming I do. It's great to be able to trans trans uh, bring photos back and forth from the SD card reader on my uh, car on my camera. Uh, of course, the HDMI out. If you're going to watch. Uh, movies on your TV and uh, Roku still doesn't have the Peacock uh, app from NBC and some others you can plug this right into your TV and watch all your apps up on a TV it looks great um, the thing that continually amazed me and what you don't realize is that how gray the blacks look on a non OLED screen so this has got the OLED uh, 4k touch screen so got all this but you can you know pinch and zoom it's got all this built in but it's a little bit uh, glassy compared to the matte finish of the other one but the blacks are amazing so let me just try and see if you can see the difference so let me bring up a command prompt in on this one and then I'll try the same thing on my gen 1 uh, so it's hard to find uh, some way to really show you how striking the differences are, but uh, the, just the true black black of an OLED 4K compared to this, uh, you know, TFT um, panel on this um, Gen, Gen 1, amazing. So, and another thing is the speed. So I want to do one quick test here. Uh, this one, it does have um, ultra performance mode. So if you set uh, in the settings down here you go to the battery and you set it to um, best performance down there it has an ultra performance mode it turns all the fans on high speed and kind of gets this thing really uh, basically like overclocking uh, at a safe, in a safe way that Lenovo can um, support so that I've just kept it on ultra performance the whole time plugged in so just trying it out uh, so I have it on same thing on best performance on this one but uh, the gen 1 doesn't have the overclocking feature so just to give a sample of the speed I downloaded the Cinebench test on both of these laptops I thought I'd uh, let you guys see side by side uh, how <laughs> the difference so uh, if you look at the processors they're basically identical except this one is uh, the Intel i7 8750H CPU and the Gen 3 has the Intel uh, i7 10750H CPU. So this is the 8th gen, this is the 10th gen of the 750H. The H obviously is the high performance, you know, top of the line kind of uh, processor compared to the non-H models, but let's just hit uh, go on both of these at the same time and we'll see how fast these tests run. I'll get them both into the run mode. We'll hit go. <coughs> so it's starting. We'll be able to see side by side how long the exact same tests run on both laptops. So um, Again, uh, the ports have been fantastic. The usage is incredible. I love this form factor, 15-inch workstation. Um, and I just uh, really like the weight of the P1 uh, also. It's got the uh, graphics in it to support any of your ISVs that you need. So wh whatever the um, software you're running, you can just you know go to that. Uh, software's website and make sure that the P1 is supported and you're going to find it there. So the same configuration in a non, um, let's say you're using uh, Dassault um, or some other uh, graphics intensive program that requires it to be certified, this is going to have it because it's got the Quadra graphics built in. Um, the GeForce isn't going to have that. So that's the big advantage of getting a, a P-Class workstation laptop, of course, is that you're going to have all those industry certs to support your um, your um, 
your software, but also it's just a great form factor. A lot of customers are buying this just because of the power. They want to do Excel quicker. They want to get on to um, crunching their graphics faster. Even uh, apps like all the communication apps that we're using today, collaboration apps like Teams or Slack or whatever, are all going to run better on a laptop like this just because the uh, built-in graphics. So uh, it's still just finishing up here. So this one, the Gen 3, it's already done. Uh, hopefully you can see that, but it got a score of 3,033. But what's super cool about that is that if you look at, um, you know, where it's supposed to be, uh, a similar configuration should end up about 2,950, but the, just because the way Lenovo tuned our system, it got a 3,033 score even better. Um, so this one uh, now just finished the Gen 1. It got a 2,500, which is, of course, still a great score uh, and way above what, you know, the standard should be for this one. But, oops, I hit run again. But you got the general idea. So just delighted with this laptop. Uh, thanks to um, uh, Lenovo and Insight for providing it for me, and I appreciate the time to spend with it. It's a shame I have sent it back, but um, that's the life of a uh, YouTube uh, <laughs> unboxer. So thanks, everybody, for watching. We'll catch you all next time, and uh, check out the Lenovo ThinkPad P1 Gen 3. Bye, everybody.